Welcome to Glitch, Glitch Gaming Radio 66.8, bringing you the late, late, latest and greatest gaming news. Nintendo has officially announced that their newest game system, the Nintendo NX, will be hitting the shelves in March 2017. There aren't many details regarding the specs on the new system, but we do know that the system will be something unique and different and nothing like the Wii or Wii U, according to Tatsumi Kamishima, Nintendo's fifth and current president. Rumors do say that the new highly anticipated Zelda game will be released on both the Wii U and NX and that the NX will also have a strong lineup at launch. Speaking of new systems, Sony has also revealed the PS4.5, which will have a strong focus on 4K gaming. For all you tech nerds out there, this is what CNET was able to report. So what is improved in the PS4? It's the hardware. According to Giant Bomb, the Neo PS4 will contain a faster CPU, updated GPU, and higher RAM bandwidth. For now, it sounds like the hard drive is going to stay the same. Now here's where things get interesting. Beginning in October, every new PS4 game is required to ship with two modes, a base mode for the current PS4 model and an updated mode for the Neo model. The Neo mode is going to allow for games to presumably run and look better than they would on the current PS4. The Neo PS4 can support 4K, but there's no mandate that says games have to support that resolution. So what does this mean if you already own a PS4? Well, nothing, really. I mean, the Neo PS4 won't have any special treatment. They're not going to get any exclusive features, and there won't be games that will run only on a Neo PS4. For all you Star Wars Battlefront fans out there, you might be happy to hear that the cancelled 2008 Star Wars Battlefront 3 game by Free Radical Design has been picked up by an independent company called Frostwire Studios. They're dedicated to bringing fans the game that never was, after the agony players received when the alpha gameplay was leaked online a few years back. Although Electronic Arts has picked up the license for the Star Wars Battlefront series, not too many people were satisfied with the direction of the game. Many people were hoping to play what they saw in the alpha gameplay of the cancelled game. Frostwire has ported over the remains of the cancelled Star Wars game into the Unreal Engine 4, where they will recreate what Star Wars Battlefront should have been. Hello everyone. I'm Sobin Raxon, one of the managers here at Frontwire Studios. You may have heard about us over the last few months and what we plan to do. It's no secret that as avid Star Wars fans, we want to fully realize the universe in every aspect and to satisfy our own inner desire to experience the legacy we all know so well. We're very excited to present what we've been working on for the last couple months to you all. Please be sure to check out our website at FrontwireStudios.com and spread the word on social media such as Facebook and Twitter. In other news, here in our studio, Director Jay has quit playing Konami's popular trading card game Yu-Gi-Oh! after an intense duel with JJ the Intern earlier today. Fuck this shit, you cheating ass bitch! I quit this stupid ass card game, you fucking dirty or cock addict, you can go to looking ass bitch! You've been listening to Glitch Gaming Radio 66.8, bringing you the latest and greatest gaming news.